events and issues shaping our community. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Comcast Newsmakers is on the air here in the plaza of the state capitol Children's Week, as you can see, in full swing behind me. And we thank you for joining us. Christina Spideas, the executive director of Florida's Children's First, and Derek Riggins, the statewide co-chair of Florida Youth Shine, are our guests this hour on Comcast Newsmakers. And we thank you for joining us here on our mobile set thank up here in the plaza. Um, now, this is kind of interesting. Uh, you are responsible for uh, foster care uh, representation in the courts, and you are a former foster care individual that has come out of the system and really prospered. So uh, you, you have a lot in common here. Uh, first of all, tell us about your experience. Um, uh, you woke up on your 18th birthday, you found out that the, the family you were with didn't have to really take care of you anymore. Correct. Um, I'm, upon my 18th birthday, when I woke up, um, really you don't have a place to go. Luckily for me, I was accepted to Florida a and University and agreed to come here, but upon getting here, had some roadblocks in the road that were stumbling blocks for me that could have been deteriorants for me not going to school. For an example, I had an incident with tuition waivers. The bill, the tuition waiver is something that you get that allows them to go to school for free. Right. I didn't get to start receiving those till my sophomore year. Mind you, that's two years into my college education. So the CBC, when I sent my records home, they looked at it and said, how are you paying for school? And when I shared with them that I was using loans, they were like, why are you taking out loans? And I told them the only thing they told me to do was fill out the FAFSA form. And I did my part, but they didn't do their part. Uh, what type of legal proceedings do you actually um, are involved in for, on behalf actually, of foster kids? Uh, Florida's Children First is a child advocacy organization. We don't do direct hands-on representation of children. Um, but we do refer mm -hmm. and we find attorneys that will do that and that's one of the big things that we do all over the state of Florida when we get concerns we find attorneys to come in for free to help children in need. Um, Florida has some amazing statistics although I will say that the D Department of Children and Families is doing a wonderful job of reducing the amount of youth that come into care by prevention and in reuniting children with their families. There's still a group of kids, there's several groups of kids that are in dire need for legal services. Mm -hmm. um, developmentally disabled, for instance, children that are disabled, that are in foster care, have an average length of stay of over six years. Wow, that's all. It's and over six years of yeah. stay. And you're talking about a child that's three or four years old, six years is their lifetime, add yeah. that to 10 years. Um, of course, their concept of time is much different than ours. And you tell someone to sit down and wait for, ten, for six years, why don't you? Yeah. Um, children that are 16 and 17, those are a very difficult age to place. Um, we all think our teenagers would be nice to put them somewhere while they're growing up. You know, it's a little difficult to handle them. Well, if you're in foster care and you're 16 or 17, it's harder to find places. What are the critical them. categories of children? Well, that is a critical yeah. category. Right. Being an older child, the, the older children about to age out, as Derek is telling you, that's a very difficult category. When did you get into foster care, Derek? Um, I came into care at birth, but then I was placed in the relative care. Okay. Um, but I went back with my mom around the age of 12, and around the age of 13, I was placed back in the foster care was system. Was that tough, that transition, very tough? It can be, um, a lot of emotional hurt because you don't know what's going on. Um, nobody's really there to explain to you what's going on. A lot of it is my fault that this happened, so um, it can be tough at times. Yeah, you, in Florida, you shine actually works with other foster care children as well. Uh, that are about your age? Um, from 18 on up to 27. And, and what's the universal issue that you want addressed by the state legislature? Right now our biggest concern is the RTI, the Road to Independence Living Scholarship that they're talking about cutting in half mm -hmm. because that helps us go to school and it really gives us that safety net to be able to to, to be successful, become productive citizens in the United States. All right, well, thank you both of you. This hour's newsmakers, Christina Spadeus and Derek Riggins. I'm Spiro Canton here on the Plaza of the State Capitol during Children's Week, and we thank you for letting us be a part of your day.